Hello fellow quizzers, fellow quiz enthusiasts, Lingui here. Welcome po sa isa na namang episode ng inyong sinusubaybayang Lingui's Video Quiz. I have here 11 questions, while you, you have 10 seconds to come up with the correct response before I reveal the answer key for the particular question. Bilang pagpupugay si lyrical genius to Billy Joel, this is the first of a series of video quizzes covering historical names, places, events, and things mentioned in the hit song, We Didn't Start the Fire. You can play this with family and friends and see who can score more by answering the questions correctly. This can be played either by Pabi Lisa Samagot or Pwedering Written using paper or a small whiteboard at magparamihan ang score. Or you can play this by yourself and see if you know the answer and how fast you can come up with it. If you feel you need more time to figure out the correct answer or you need to prepare yourself for the next question, feel free to pause the video and hit play once you're ready. So without further ado, question number one. What is a weapon developed by a group of U.S. scientists led by Edward Teller that was tested in Enewetak Atoll in 1952? Answer, H-bomb or hydrogen bomb. Question number two. How did Billy Joel refer to the U.S. environmental disaster between 1987 and 1988 where significant amounts of medical waste, including syringes and raw garbage, washed up onto the beaches of New Jersey and New York? Answer, Billy Joel mentioned it as Hypodermics on the shore, referring to the serene tide of 1988. Question number three. How did Billy Joel refer to the 1962 violent disturbance at the University of Mississippi in Oxford where segregationist rioters prevent the enrollment of African-American veteran James Meredith? Answer, Bill Joel mentioned it as Ole Miss, referring to the Ole Miss riot in 1962, also known as Battle of Oxford. Question number four. Who was the 1930s to 1960s syndicated American newspaper gossip columnist and radio news commentator whose popularity and influence turned journalism into a form of entertainment? Answer, Walter Winchell. Question number five. Who defeated Jake LaMotta in the boxing match dubbed as the St. Valentine's Day Massacre? Answer, Billy Joel mentioned Sugar Ray. To be specific, it's Sugar Ray Robinson. Question number six. Who ruled after the Iranian Revolution in 1979 when Shah Muhammad Reza Pahlavi was deposed? Answer. Ayatollah Khomeini. The lyrics, Ayatollahs in Iran, refers to Khomeini's return from exile. Question number seven. Name the American singer-songwriter who in 1963 released and popularized the song Low Wind in the Wind. Answer, Dylan, Bob Dylan. Question number eight. What was the term given to the killing spree committed by a 19-year-old between 1957 and 1958 where he killed a total of 11 people in Nebraska and Wyoming? Answer, 
Answer, Starkweather Homicide. Question number 9. Name the 37th U.S. President who lost to JFK in 1960 and eventually won on his rerun in 1968. Answer, Richard Nixon. Question number 10. Which 1960 film produced and directed by Alfred Hitchcock became the standard of graphic violence and cinema sensationalism at the time? Answer, Psycho. Before I give the last question, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for a quiz para updated tayo sa fresh at check back worthy video quizzes na hatid sa inyo ng inyong yours truly. Question number 10. What was the name of the village between North and South Korea where the 1953 armistice agreement to end the Korean War was signed? Answer, Panmunjong. There you have it, 11 questions. How many were you able to answer correctly? Ano ang score mo? Please let me know in the comment section below. Well, hope you did well. Hope you had fun. Watch out for more video quizzes coming your way sa ating channel, Fourth Quiz. Again, please like, subscribe, and share. Lingui here. Thanks for watching. Salamat sa panonood. Hasta la vista.